welcome back to the channel. On this video, let's talk about speed versus power. And do you have a preference of one over the other? Or do you even care about having either one? I personally probably would say I want both and it depends on the situation but I like both and I'll uh, talk a little bit about that so speed to me would be like over 20 miles an hour over what would be class 2 I think I would want something that can go probably or for sure above class three even i know we'll get into the legalities of that and whether it's legal or not or whatever but i'm not going to count that today i'm just going to talk about speed versus power and so speed i like to have and the reason why i like to have speed is because depending on the situation Sometimes you got to get out of a certain situation. If you're in, let's say you're in with traffic, you're blended in with traffic, there's no bike lane there. And I think it's a lot safer to ride at speeds that the traffic's at. Let's say the, the speed limit there on this, this particular road here, right here is 25, for example, and there's no bike lane. I'm probably better just to get out here. I'm going 20 right now, but I'm better just to go there and ride 25 than I am on the side. That's my thinking on it because there is no bike lane. But sometimes it's a little faster. Let's say it's 30 or even up to 35. I think 35 is even fine. If your bike went 35, if you were able to keep up with traffic and maintain the 35 miles an hour that's what i like about speed but you don't always use it i'm not always riding 30 miles an hour or more than 30 miles an hour sometimes i am some people probably are content with 20 miles an hour you know that's plenty enough for them but Maybe they don't commute on the road or they stay in the bike lanes and where they are, they have bike, enough bike lanes to keep them uh, from getting onto the road and blending in with traffic. And also where you are, right? If there's a lot of roads that, first of all, if they have bike lanes and it doesn't really matter. And secondly, maybe the traffic isn't like where you are in your neighborhood where you maybe just ride around the neighborhood and it's slow and it doesn't matter to you but i think a good number of us use the bikes to commute with and i think that's where you want a little more speed at least i do you can let me know in the comments what what you're thinking on that is and then as far as power i also like the power so i want both i'm kind of greedy i guess but i want both And a good example of power would be, I did a recent video racing. I'm on the Lyric Graffiti right now and I raced against my friend Keith on my, he was riding my Aerial Rider Grizzly, which is the dual motor uh, bike. And of course, He had uh, an advantage there with that dual motor. It was just launching him like a rocket and uh, I couldn't catch him. I will leave a link in the description if you want to go and back and watch that video. It's just recently that I did that video and uh, you can take a look for yourself. We raced about four times, different races. So we may be doing some more, some uh, of our uh, viewers uh, suggested doing um, 
a couple of other uh, uh, other races where we start out we uh, get going side by side at like 20 miles an hour and then we start from there I kind of like that we could give that a try I didn't uh, do that one um, the day we raced and then another uh, suggested that from the get-go on this bike here the graffiti that I pedal uh, right from the start to get going that'll get me up to speed faster so I will try that next time um, whenever we get the time uh, together where we're riding together and uh, and uh, it's a good day and all that where there's uh, no traffic and stuff we will do it I want to be uh, um, somewhere where we can do it safely So getting back to the power part though, what I like about power is, as I was just saying about the Grizzly, the takeoff. So if you're in a situation where you're on the road, sharing the road with cars, and there's no bike lane, then, and you're at an intersection like we are right now, say, but I'm saying a more busy uh, intersection than this one, then you want to, uh, you want to be able to accelerate and keep up with the cars if there's no bike lane, you know, to get through that. And so that's where I like the power. And then the other place I like the power, a couple other places, one of them is hill climbing. It makes a big difference uh, having more power. And those dual motors on the Aerial Rider Grizzly do just that. If you want one that can, uh, that you want to be able to hill climb without any problems, that bike will certainly do it for you. And the other thing that I like about power is if you were doing, I don't know how many of you out there do off-roading, but if you're doing off-roading and you're getting into situations, uh, um, you know, there, there could be little steep hills here or there, that kind of stuff. I think the uh, extra power would come in handy in situations like that. So some of the off-roading uh, extra power uh, sure comes in handy as well. So those are some of the things that I think um, that I would want the extra power. I don't know if it has to be quite as much as the uh, Grizzly, but you know, once you've had a bike that has that kind of power, you kind of like it and you get kind of get used to it. So then when you're looking at future bikes, you know, if you were looking at another bike in the future or how uh, one could fine tune a bike. And once you've already had a taste of that, then you want that, you know, you want that again on your next bike with other things that you're finding that you like, you know, take a few things that you like off the bike, off that bike and then put it to a new bike and then add the things that other things that you might want for the bike. You know, be it seat height, be it uh, handlebar, you know, like handlebars. You might get used to riding with certain handlebars, but then you find out, you know, you try another uh, bike with a different pair of handlebars, and you say, hey, those are pretty good. I wouldn't mind those on my bike. Until you really try things out, it's hard to tell you know just like you can get all the information in the world from from videos and stuff or reading but until you actually try the bike yourself we're all different uh, so it's going to be different for you than than me you know it's like a movie you know like you may like a particular movie that and I say that was awful you know kind of thing so you're kind of bikes are a or a taste thing, I guess, if you want to call it that. Um, you know, to each his own or her own. But it's fun, you know, everybody having different kind of bikes and, and uh, different styles and whatever. I think I think it's great, and um, it would be awful boring if we all had the same uh, bike. So go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below what you think of power and speed do you even need either one 
or do you have a preference of one over the other? I don't know which one I would pick. Probably, if the speed is enough, like if it goes 30 miles an hour at least, I might lean more to the power, I think. But then if you had one and not the other, you'd wish you had the other. So I don't know. I think I, for me, I, I got to have both. But uh, let me know in the comments what you think on that. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.